I really wanted to set a book in New York because when you're writing your third book you're looking to do something different every single time with each book and I absolutely love New York it's my favorite city in the whole world and sense of place and where people live and what a city is like has always been very important to me and I thought it'd be really exciting and really fun to write about this place that I, I love so much there is a secret in the love of her life the secret about why the heroine has run away to New York and has been there um, for the last three years and that is because something really awful happened to her in London and I wanted to write about what happens when you think everything is all mapped out for you and it all goes horribly wrong um, and I wanted to try something different I think um, women's fiction um, has to deal with things that affect women and um, it can't just be about I'm in love with my boss, I drank loads of Chardonnay last night, um, I have bought some new shoes because I do all of those things. I'm not in love with my boss, let me make that very clear. Um, but uh, you know life isn't a bed of roses, there are lots of other things that, that happen and some of them are terrible and some of them are wonderful and I wanted to just try and dig a bit deeper and see if I could pull that off and I, I really hope that I did. Um, it's my favourite book of the three that I've written. I'm extremely, extremely proud of it. Um, so the book is called The Love of Her Life and um, when you're writing books like this, I guess I'd call them romantic comedies or, or chick lit, um, you, there's always uh, something of a battle about what you're going to call the book because you have to call it something that's going, that's going to entice people but you don't want to make it sound too drippy, you don't want it to sound too cliched. It's about who is the love of Kate, the heroine's life, uh, is it X or is it Y? Um, or is it uh, the love of her own life and the fact that we all have to fall in love with our own lives and enjoy um, our own lives and believe in ourselves if we're actually going to find happiness um, and I think a lot of women think that you know at the end of the rainbow is a prince charming you just waltz off into the sunset and that's it that's not true you have to be happy yourself and that's the most important thing so hopefully it's about the journey of Kate falling in love with her own life again when she's fallen out of it so much. Thank you.